Morning, everybody. It's 836 on Tuesday morning, June the 7th. Uh, the only uh, economic news that we have this morning is the trade deficit, uh, which came down ever so slightly, 87.08 billion versus an estimate of 89.4. I haven't really seen um any of the internal numbers from this, just the uh, headline. So uh, if there's something to talk about, um, I will discuss it in tonight's closing comment. Uh, Futures are sharply lower. Um, The Dow, which when I came down was down 200, is now down 240. NASDAQ is uh, down about 140, and the S&P is down 33. Three, uh, the problem started with Target's downgrade of their guidance based on inventory problems. These are the same inventory problems that they told us about two weeks ago, when they and Walmart both got pounded pretty hard. But I guess there's a board meeting at Target today, and so they wanted to disclose this early. Uh, Target is trading 146 down 1365 or 8.8%. Uh, Walmart, for its part, is down 4 and Costco down 13. Um, the EV makers are all lower. I'm not really sure what that's about. I haven't seen anything that um, really needs uh, discussion, but there you have it. Uh, Kohl's, KSS, 46 up 388 or 9.2%. They're going into a three week negotiation with Franchise Group about a possible deal for the company at $60. If there was any degree of certainty, the gap would be a lot less than, um, you know. 23% between where it's trading now, up 9.2%, and uh, the number that they're talking about. This company has been talked about as a deal now for years, uh, but the bottom line has been that nobody has been willing to finance it at anywhere near the numbers that the public wants to see. So we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, Bitcoin is down over 2,000, which is versus yesterday's up 1,900. Um, Ethereum also down. And so as that goes, also goes micro strategies. MSTR, 220, down 15.5 or 6.4%. Um, I've said it before, I will say it again, I think this company is going to be deluged by shareholder lawsuits on a fall from over 1300 to basically 200 um, on the basis of the fact that they stepped away from their business, which is software, to realign their balance sheet excessively, even borrowed billions of dollars to continue to buy more Bitcoin on the way down. Maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't, but seeing as we're the most litigious society in the universe, um, I'm going to guess that there are going to be problems, as I think there are going to be problems with other companies that have done stock buybacks with shareholder equity uh, that has buoyed the uh, bonuses that the board and the uh, executives have taken and the stocks are substantially lower now. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Amazon, after its uh, 20 to 1 split yesterday, uh, had traded as high as uh, 129 and change, currently trading 121.80, down 342. So pretty substantial. Chart on the screen is the net gas, which continues higher. Um, This is kind of the way it started off yesterday, uh, kind of slowly. Um, But uh, now 
we have broken these two highs, 944.70 and 943.70. Uh, today's high so far is 954.40. It is getting a little bit overbought, but you know, this one has continued to get overbought on each of these breakouts. You know, we had the breakout here at $5 and change, and in less than a month, we were $8 and change, came back in and moved from 650 all the way up to $9, came back down hard in a period of two and a half days, but did not break that 650 and rallied up to 950. So, you know, could we see in excess of $10? I believe net gas is absolutely going to double digits. Uh, we have a position. I may lighten it a little today on any extended move higher. Okay, Dow down 240, S&P down 36. Um, Oh, Microsoft down another $3.15, and the NASDAQ is down 150 I'll be back later. Be careful out there, folks. You know, I still think we're moving higher in this bear market rally. Um, we'll have to see how this shapes up versus uh, the inventories issue.